What a fantastic story and also spectacular on this Halloween. Uh oh. Well, how you doing? He's gone. Yeah. The headless weatherman has Ichabod, arrived. Ichabod Taylor's here with your forecast. You know, I love the San Saba arm, armadillos. That's one of my favorite high school teams. Here we go. This yeah. is this. Hey, hopefully the kids are asleep right you know, now. My, my good friend, uh, Bill Taylor, he actually grew up in Patterson, New Jersey. Same story at Eastside High School, but their nickname, the Eastside Ghosts. The Ghosts. Yeah, That's really true cool. True story. They built the school over an old cemetery hey we had a lot of halloween fun here on the hill today henry ramos that we did it was the I annual the ken's fun. five spooktacular luncheon you did miss out and that's why i've got this great video look here i go uh -oh. there i go yeah because i was run the mc look at and that and i emceed the costume contest big shout out to earl stoudemire who went as a character from fairly odd parents he won most creative tina corbiel there she is as the roach was the funniest, it was a lot of Some fun Some creative today. souls here at Kent's I'm Five. telling you right now, we had a blast. Isn't this a great place to work, bro? We it are is. a family. We are We a really are a family with some good familia. chili and candy. <laughs> oh, there was some really good chili. Nice job, Jack. I, I might be paying for that hot chili a little bit later. All right, 90 the high today. We broke a record, an old one, a century-old record from the 1800s. Now, here's the thing. This 89-degree high was tied a few times since the 1890s, but yeah, that was the first time we hit 89. So with 90 today, this is now, of course, the hottest Halloween in city history. You see it next to the coldest, the wettest, an incredibly hot Halloween. Radar, you can see that we're only seeing a couple of light sprinkles and they were earlier. Down along the coast is where we still see a few downpours. But we're going to see more develop because this front didn't really get things going until it got closer to the coast where there was more moisture, a little more forcing. Well, now this front's going to be backing up and that's going to mean additional rain in the forecast. Let's take a look at the model prediction and your timing. Hour by hour, we're looking at tomorrow morning to be pretty dry. Few showers might start up, maybe a couple of sprinkles in the area. They'll be isolated and pretty short lived. But as we get to the afternoon, a little bit of heating, which will be less than 90 today. Tomorrow is probably going to be in the lower to mid 80s. We should start seeing a few more downpours pop, and that'll go even into Friday evening. And even Saturday, there's going to be a chance of seeing additional rain. So here's the good news. In the next seven days, maybe up to half an inch, maybe even closer to an inch for northeast Bear County and up the I-35 corridor. All right, let's take a look from San Fernando Cathedral at the 14 day forecast. The good news here, several 70s and very good chances of rain. In fact, this whole new weather pattern is looking good for November. Now we've got several big days on the 14 day forecast, one of which we changed the clocks. By the way, go to my Ken's Five Facebook and I've got some tips on changing the clocks. You'll enjoy it, I promise. And then of course we do also have our election day forecast with a slight chance of rain, okay? And then we're also going into Veterans Day with a slight chance, but look at the cold front that's coming. We've got a much better looking front in the forecast than what we saw today. And at least get a little bit less humidity and a nice drop in temperature. So rain chances in some 70s on this 14 day forecast are looking good. Vinny? So you know what's funny about that, Billy T? He said, go check out my Facebook. The man has no head. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, come on now.